What's up everybody? It's early on a Saturday morning, heading to Cars and Coffee. It's kind of damp and rainy and yucky out, but uh, I think by the time we get there, it'll be cleared up and nice. So let's head over that way. Okay, we had to make a quick pit stop. <laughs> the rain started coming down really hard. So uh, luckily I was right next to a gas station. I was able to whip in there, put the top up, and uh, you know, once you put the top up, the thing's actually a really comfortable car. I've got the AC blasting in here because uh, it's kind of a really muggy morning uh, with this rain and humidity and everything. But uh, just cruising right along. The only thing the fig really needs is a fourth gear. I'm humming along at 130 kilometers an hour at 4,500 RPMs. And it's kind of screaming. too promising. We drove through a nice sunny patch, but this is not looking too good. Okay, we made it. This is European Auto Garage's new location. They just moved. And a huge, amazing new spot that they built up here. Really great spot. I mean, you could live in this place. It's really nice up here. But uh, they started doing, they were the first to do Cars and Coffee in Knoxville many years ago, uh, about once a month. And I just love coming here. Nice, small, tight-knit crowd, lots of awesome cars. Let's check them out. The size of this does not come across on camera. This place makes the turbo garage look like a joke. <laughs> what a great shop. Love the old Corrado. sufficient horsepower check out this diamond blue cougar Josh, you're in the video. We have to race. Right here? Just to like 30 miles an hour. To the speed limit. What's the speed limit through here? I gotta turn it right here, so Oh man. <laughs> Love your car, man. It sounds awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, that was brutal. <laughs> There's so many quirky and fun details in this car, like turning the AC on. So you first choose face, foot, or def. You have recirc or fresh. There's your fan speed. 
and then here is cold and hot. Very easy to understand. But to get the AC to work, you gotta make sure you flip your AC switch on. There we go. Under spirited driving conditions, the Nissan Fijaro will require additional petrol. It's the little things that make me love this car. Like when you open the fuel lid, and there's that, and there's this. All right, well that was lots of fun. I love going to that Cars and Coffee. Like I said, it's just a little more laid back. Um, especially today, the rain scared off a lot of the like um, supercar guys. So it was just a nice core group that I've been seeing going there for years, saw some old friends. But now it's the 4th of July weekend, so that means it's time to buy some fireworks. I love the names of these things. Shotgun wedding. Bring it on. In your face. Oh, check this out. Thunderbolt. Okay, everybody, I found the winner. Tears from heaven. <laughs> this is definitely what I need. The one shoots flaming balls. Okay, I think we did all right. Now, I blame the kids. They made me get all this stuff. So what do we got? We got our Angel Rising, cone number eight, uh, Brocade of Green, I'm not sure what that means, Blue Dragon, Whirlwind of Caribbean Sea, my personal favorite, the Saturn Missile Battery 200 shot. Uh, we got the little parachuters, uh, whatever these things are, multicolor, Multicolor Pinoy with crackles. Oh, that's gonna be great. Got some Roman candles, and then some of these chickens and tanks. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so for those of you that might not know what this is, this is a Japanese road flare. Uh, this is the one that came with the Figaro, and I think since it's the 4th of July, it's appropriate to set this thing off today. The reason I'm setting it off is because it's really old, and it's just not great to drive around in your car uh, if these things are past their service life, and this one definitely is. So uh, I think we should set it off, and one cool idea I've seen that people do with these is they take the flare out and then put like a flashlight it fits real tight inside because I'd still like to have this in the interior it's it's a cool part of the car um, that they come installed with these but uh, anyway just a closer look at this thing here's some instructions I can't remember the last time I set off a flare so I'll look at these instructions for sure all right let's go for it I gotta tell you, that sucker is bright. Seems kind of crazy to drive around with that just chilling in the interior of your car. I mean, I don't know what the chances of this thing going off would be, probably slim to none, but uh, it was just good peace of mind to set it off, especially since it was well expired. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope you had a great one. So with that said, thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time.